Our key marketplace ministry partner, Christian Sinotti, is one of the two or three most highly positioned evangelical business leaders in Croatia. He's passionate to see people come to Christ and also to make a difference in the country. We lead a leader impact group together and he sponsors our conferences, but I want to tell you about a project he created called the Little Lighthouse Award. I always sense that uh, uh, desire to to change our society, to change our environment, to make Croatia a better place uh, to live. And one of the problems we as a society have is that we don't, uh, um, honesty is not a value in our mm. society. And uh, that's one part. Another part is that we don't uh, appreciate normal people, normal workers who right. work hard uh, to earn their salary. You know, people in Croatia, they, uh, they appreciate people who can uh, easily and fast make money on suspicious ways, that kind right. of things, you know. And I wanted to, to influence that, uh, that uh, uh, culture or idea mm -hmm. or those values. I wanted to, uh, to send message that uh, it's good to work hard, it's good to be honest, and it uh, it can be um, awarded at the end. And yeah. therefore we award, uh, let's say, best working in Croatia. And me, we have many, many awards for uh, entrepreneurs and, you know, managers. And, but I wanted to have an uh, award for uh, normal worker. One deep problem in Croatia is workplace relationships. Bosses think their employees are lazy. Workers think their bosses are cheats and liars. The government mostly punishes entrepreneurs and the media tells negative stories all the way around. So five years ago, Christian had the idea to sponsor a yearly award for a normal Croatian worker, just for being diligent and ethical. There have been four recipients so far, a security guard, two women that work in newsstands, and a man who helps professional Croatian sailors renew their licenses. Each one was blown away to receive the award. Last year, over 500 people submitted a reference for a coworker or just someone they know from interactions in an office or a store. 10 finalists are selected by a jury. The public then is invited to vote for the winner. The prize is close to 15,000 euros. It took a couple of years for the Croatian public to take the award seriously and for the media to start to follow it. The award ceremony happens in the middle of our Croatian Global Leadership Summit in November each year which draws between 400 and 900 people. It gives the event a dramatic, newsworthy element. Anyone who takes the time to watch the interviews which, with each of the 10 finalists is blown away by the humility and care of these folks. It could feel strange for us as evangelicals and missionaries to cheer on common grace in this way, but there is such a dark spirit around this area in Croatia that it's one of the best ways we have as Christians to grab a cynical public's attention. It reminds me of a quote by G.K. Chesterton. I don't deny that there should be priests to, remend, to remind men that they will one day die. I only say that at certain strange epochs, it is necessary to have another kind of priest called poets, actually to remind men that they are not dead yet. We're not quite poets, but we help remind Croats that there is still hope for the country. When I tell people that we are here to work to change the culture of leadership in this country until it matches the beauty of the land and its people, they get it, they feel it, they know what a difference that would make. None of this comes easily. The award actually bears the name of our dear departed friend, Drajan Glavash, a man who pioneered marketplace ministry in Croatia before his sudden death at 49 years old in 2017. He had been discussing the award with Christian the night before he died. Ministry in Croatia is, can be very, very draining, but is never boring. And the fields are just wide open to plant a flag in the ground, something like Little Lighthouse, and get the attention of the nation. You never know what is just around the corner. My wife Sandra and I have been in Croatia serving together for 21 years now. We've always done something like what Leader Impact is today, long before it had that name. And we have made tons of mistakes. Almost everything that is now bearing fruit for us has came along the last five or six years. But the time we put in before is not lost either. Language learning for me, raising our small kids for her, experimenting with different kinds of approaches, it all took time. And the redemption that we've experienced in the last couple of years has been that even in the midst of incredible difficulties with COVID, family health crises, struggles in our own church, God is doing more through us than I could have pictured five or six years ago. 
nothing we do for God is ever lost. It all gets pulled together in the power of the resurrection. And I hope that encourages you as well.